the family of the late statesman Jose Diocno on Thursday, September 21, slams the distortion of history of former Senators Bongbong Marcos and Juan Ponce Enrile. Enrile claims during martial law, no one was arrested for political or religious beliefs and that the detainees at the time were merely inconvenienced for a while, then later released. The claims were made in an interview posted on Marcos's social media accounts. The Jokno family calls the claims a pathetic attempt at rewriting our history. The family says thousands of claimants, human rights victims of the Marcos regime, belay and realize assertion. The family adds, Are we now to take torture? Forced disappearance and the loss of life as forms of inconvenience and really serve as the defense minister under the Marcos regime. The family also contests and really claim that Jokno didn't want to be released from detention. Jokno was detained for two years without being charged. The family said Jokno objected to the terms of the pledge, which expressed loyalty to the Marcos regime. I'm Jose Jokno. We will be free. And even if we have to wade through blood and fire, we will sing our own songs. Amnesty International says 34,000 were tortured and 3,240 were killed during martial law from 1972 to 1981. Meantime, former President Noynoy Aquino says Enrile's old age can't be used as an excuse for people to believe his desired revision of the truth. It's a made that Enrile, but I'm not sure that he can para dahilan niyo para maniwala tayo sa gusto niya pagbabago ng katotohanan.